Hey everyone, good morning. This is your tech host Divishka Tadani and the bulletin for today starts with Samsung to launch Galaxy Z Fold 6 Special Edition on October 21. Google phases out original Google Meet app. Karnataka imposes fees on Swiggy, Uber and Zomato orders for give workers welfare. Government may cut telecom spectrum lease to 10 years. OnePlus 2 unveil Oxygen OS 15 on October 24. Apple partnered with BYD for secret EV battery project. YouTube Premium Lite expanding to more countries. In the previous quiz, we asked you what is the full form of SSD. The answer is solid state drive. It's time for our daily tech quiz. Here's today's question. Who is the founder of Microsoft? Confident you've got the answer? Drop your guess in the comments below. Tune in to tomorrow's news bulletin to find out if you nailed it. Stay tuned. Now let's begin with our first news. Samsung has announced that it will unveil a new foldable device, likely the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Special Edition, on October 21. The teaser shows the phone's slim design, highlighting how it can slide under a door, emphasizing its thinness. The model is rumored to have a thickness of 10.56mm when folded, a 6.5-inch outer display and an 8-inch foldable inner screen. It may feature a 200MP main camera, reduced display crease and support for the S Pen. The device could also have a titanium body like the Galaxy S24 Ultra initially launching in Korea and China. It may eventually come to India where Samsung has previously listed the model. Now Moving ahead, Google is removing the original Meet app from the Play Store as a part of its update to the newer Meet app which was formerly due. The older app can no longer be downloaded or used with users directed to the new Meet app. The transition started with Android users and iPhone users are also experiencing this change. The company decided to focus on the updated version which has been downloaded over 5 billion times compared to the 500 million downloads of the original Meet apps. Though some users have expressed frustration, Google believes this move is justified given the popularity and improvements of the new Meet app. The Karnataka government is introducing a new fee on transactions made through platforms like Zomato, Swiggy, Ola and Uber. This 1-2% charge will be used to fund social security measures for gig workers. The fee won't apply to product purchases but it will be charged on transportation and delivery services. Despite concerns that it could increase prices for customers, the government believes that it is necessary to support gig workers' welfare. The initiative is a part of the state's draft platform-based gig workers' bill 2024, which will be presented in December's winter session. Now, the Department of Telecommunication is considering reducing the lease period for telecom spectrum from 20 years to 10 years. This move is aimed at addressing the rapid pace of technological advancement which reduce the long-term value of spectrum. Currently, telecom operators spend 15-40% to 40 of their adjusted gross revenue on spectrum payments. The industry insiders believe that if the lease period is shortened, the government should also lower the reserve price. This change could help operators better manage their investment as technology shifts more quickly from 3G to 4G and 5G. Now we have OnePlus which will unveil its Oxygen OS 15 based on Android 15 in an online event on October 24. The updated interface will introduce smoother animations and new AI-powered features aimed at improving productivity and creativity. Similar to its sister brand, Oppo's Color OS 15, Oxygen OS 15 is likely to feature similar innovation. OnePlus devices are expected to receive this update included in OnePlus 13, which will be first device with Oxygen OS 15 pre-installed. Other eligible devices could be the OnePlus 12 series and the company's first foldable device, the OnePlus Oppo. The update promises enhanced user experience through advanced software algorithms. Now we have Apple which has secretly worked with Chinese automaker BYD from 2017 to develop advanced battery technology for an electric vehicle project. The partnership focused on creating a safer long-range battery using lithium-iron phosphate cells. Although Apple eventually cancelled its EV project in 2024, the collaboration contributed to BYD's development of its blade battery technology which helped the company become a leader in the EV market. The project provided Apple with valuable insights which have since been applied to products like Vision Pro headset and Neural Engine AI processor. Now we have YouTube. YouTube ad-free premium light subscription is offering fewer features at a lower cost. It is expanding to more countries including Australia and Germany. The plan allows users to enjoy videos without interruption but doesn't include features like online downloads or background play. Priced at roughly half the cost of the standard premium plan, the premium light is aimed at users who primarily want an ad-free viewing experience. 
Although previously tested in selected markets, the light plan was temporarily paused in late 2023 but is now being revived. It is unclear if Google will expand this offering for more countries in the future. This was it for today's news. Stay tuned to IT Voice for more such tech updates.